going after some science, Mom. We'll be back later on. All right, son. Don't be late. Oh, and remember you have your Harvard assessment to hand in tomorrow. Yeah, I know, Mom. That's why I need research for my paper. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Don't wait up, okay? Fascinating thing. What the heck do you want with me? You saw them too, didn't you? So what? You're not with the government, are you? Oh no, I'm far worse than them. But I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't answer my question though. Why am I here? What thing did I see? Lights. Lights in the sky. Lights? Well, those could have been anything. You felt them, didn't you? The energy moved you. Struck you frozen to the spot. <laughs> How do you know this? I've seen them too. No one's safe anymore. Let go. Get to my suitcase, man. That's all. You're in grave danger. We all are. Yeah, whatever, man. I guess those lights in the sky are come down to attack us, huh? Oh, so you have seen them. I was being sarcastic, of course not. You can run off now. Don't worry about the suitcase. I forget folks in all the room for your studies, kid. And a far greater phenomenon is present for themselves. I'm gonna find the truth about you one day. Thank you. 
Crawford, date 4th of the 3rd, 1954. I am conducting an investigation on extraterrestrial activity over the skies of Massachusetts. This is solely for a personal study. My hypothesis is that extraterrestrial activity has become rather fluent at this time, and it may be a result of the government's experimentation of spacecraft. Since the end of the Second World War a few years prior, the US and Russia have been competing between a space race to get to the moon. By this, I elaborate on the chance that, for example, alien life outside of Earth's solar system could very well be present, and the sudden exploration of a galaxy that is far more expansive than Earth may provide insight on why venturing out into alien territory is making things appear in the skies due to curiosity. So, Professor, what do you think of my hypothesis? Alex, I don't have time for this nonsensical misinformation, okay? You're not a scientist. You're a 17-year-old kid. Yes, sir. I apologize for taking the time. Good day. Hello? You should try being a bit more private about your conversations over the phone, Alex. Sorry, who is this? Can you speak up? Your voice is rather muffled. You know who it is, Alex. Oh, so it's you. The man from the forest. You're correct. Now that I've got divided attention, I want you to go down to 105 LB Drive. Write that down. 105 LB Drive? Okay, well, what for? This is brown shit sitting on the property. The government tried to cover up whatever's inside there. So what does this have to do with me? You're into this extraterrestrial investigation, aren't you? Yeah. So go to the property and find out what's inside. There's a spare key hidden somewhere on the ground. Should open the lock. All right. Thank you.
Oh, it's you, Grandma. So, I gotta go. Bye. This is not- Shut up, Alex. Oh, it's you again. The hell's that thing you led me to? From now on, I do the talking. Got it? Yeah, okay. Have you seen the newspaper recently? Oh, why? The CIA has conducted a major search for the artifact that you found. The what? The Central Intelligence Agency. An operative of Truman's work. They know that something landed in that forest. And you're lucky that they don't know that you have it. What I don't understand is why these extraterrestrial things are occurring so frequently. My guess is the sudden nuclear testing of mankind is along a certain energy. Now that artifact you discovered, what did it do? I'm not really sure exactly. It, it glowed at first. As I looked into it, a sudden burst of energy just faded my surroundings. How do you mean? This crystal somehow managed to literally wind up my surroundings. I was in this rather eradicated city of ruins. I see. And how did the site play out? You mean what happened next? Yes. I heard this sound, like a Morse code. I could understand it. Something was telling me something I needed to hear. I just remember, leave us alone, leave us alone. It just repeated. And then not so long after that, this giant blast of some sort of nuclear weapon just obliterated everything. And then what? I woke up in shock, standing back in the forest. Then the police and whoever else arrived and I fled in a hurry. This is interesting. How do you know all this? Who, who are you? It's better that you don't know, kid. I'm merely a ghost. You won't see of me. Instead, I'll be observing your every move. We are meant to uncover the truth together. That's if you still believe it. Yeah, well, I'm afraid I might. May I ask what the artifact is? My guess is that it's not only a warning to mankind, but a waypoint for an extraterrestrial force to possibly inhabit a certain area. So what do I do with it? Is this force dangerous? I believe that there's no intention of harm. However, for your safety, perhaps burying it may be a safe option. Okay, so I bury the artifact, and then I stay clean for its whereabouts? Surely it'll send out a signal to whatever it's tracking. Hypothetically speaking, if you planted it back where it landed, then it's where the force potentially aimed for it to send out a signal. So why did I have to pick it up? If it's supposed to be where it landed, then doesn't that mean I've tampered with where it was intentionally situated? Think about it, Alex. If the CIA got their hands on it, then all hell would break loose. I believe that this force aimed for it to be picked up by a safe host, and that host is you. Not everyone sees such things in the sky, Alex. I think that the best thing to do is to replant it back where it belongs, and allow for a signal to be sent out. You see, I'm still confused as to why this thing would even signal something in the first place. I mean, are they planning to dock on Earth? Your guess is as good as mine, Alex. Take the artifact back to the forest and plant it where it was. If it's meant to be, a signal should be sent out. Okay, so I let this force know that the situation was successful. Then what? Wait for it to come? I believe there's something out there, but the likelihood of this extraterrestrial force actually docking upon my arrival sounds insane. I mean, what about the CIA? Don't worry about them. I'll use a ploy to divert their search. You most likely have an hour to get there and plant it safely. That's if you leave in 20 minutes. Sure. I'll grab it, I'll make my way for the forest. 